We're going to identify the important features of the function f of x equals 450 times 0.84 raised to the x power. First thing we want to do is identify the type of function we're working with. This function has the form f of x equals a times b to the x power. Because it has that form, we know it is an exponential function x in the exponent, exponential function. Again, the a value in this formula represents the y-intercept. The b value in the formula is the factor. So in this case, 450 is the y-intercept. In other words, if you let x equal 0, you will get y equals 450. The factor is the number 0.84. Every time x increases by one unit, we multiply the y value by 0.84. Now, the result of that, if you start at a height, for example, of 0, 0,450, and you increase x by one unit, taking 450, the y value, and multiplying it by 0.84, will make the new y value smaller than 450. So we're repeatedly multiplying a positive value by 0.84 will make your y values get smaller and smaller. So this will be a decreasing function. When your factor is a number between 0 and 1, the result will be a decreasing exponential function. The factor of 0.84. The rate is equal to the factor minus 1. And so for this particular function, our rate is equal to 0.84 minus 1. And so we know our fact, excuse me, our rate is negative 0.16. And we usually describe the rate as a percentage. Since it's negative, we know that it's a decreasing function. We say that this function is decreasing by 16% every time x increases by 1. Every time x increases by 1, we decrease the y value by 16%. Every time x increases by 1, we multiply the y value by 0.84. You're taking 84% of the previous y value, which is 16% less than the previous y value. A good window to see this exponential function, if you look from x equals negative 5 up to x equals 20, you get a nice window. See, 5, 10, 15, 20. If you let your y window run from negative 500 up to positive 1,000, you get a pretty decent graph on that. Looks something like so. Decreasing exponential function. It is decreasing and concave up. The y-intercept is 0, 450. A couple other points on that graph. If you go out to x equals 10, you get approximately 78.7. And if you go out to x equals 20, you get approximately 13.8. And there we have a pretty decent graph.